First off, that's dumb because when I hit record, I can't see it over there, but I can see it on there. If y'all don't know, first off, let's do the intro. First off, it's your boy Big MBKJ. We back with another podcast episode. It's episode five, so I do remember this time. I don't know if I said that in the last one, but I low-key forgot what the last one was. But boom, number five, I'm back with it. Got my son a lot of women building. Say what's up, bro. bro they hear you every other podcast, bro. I'm dead, bro. <laughs> yeah, got my son off screen. Sadly enough, I wrote. <laughs> I was like, all right, let me let me keep some topics in my head, in mind, and everything, and um, you know, write some stuff down. So I will definitely go off topic. I would not be surprised if I. <laughs> this nigga know, like, I will start chatting about anything. Yo, this nigga will always show me Instagram shit while we're recording. He do not care about <laughs> nothing quiet on the set, nothing. Yo, bro. Yo. Yeah, should we start off funny or start off like motivational series? Concussions. Concussions? Yo, bro. Football? <laughs> it should not be allowed for kids. For me? Like your worst football injury. It had to be at Edison, junior year, because the ambulance came. Oh. Well, I can't even say that because I have a too. So, look, check this, check this. Keep in mind, I was the DN, and I'm going to keep it simple for the niggas that don't watch football. So, pretty much, I was running to the QB thinking it's open as day to this dude. Thank you, Somebody yeah. pretty much came across. I didn't see him to the last second time I turned, and bow. I'm sitting there, ah, uh, ah, boom, pain. Um, so, you know, that was that. Would you cry? Nah, I just woke up. Like, I, I was crying. I ain't gonna oh, you was crying? Yeah, bro. Oh, no, nah, I cracked my rib. You cracked your ribs? Yeah. He's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I really got hit. I, ain't gonna lie. I remember I seen a JB kid, like, pop out his shoulder. Like, I didn't see, like, the bone, but he did. And he was like, yo, bro, get up, get up. Yo, like, the coach. Crazy. <laughs> and it, he was like, yo, bro, it's messed up. Rip, so. Grobs. Uh, Grobs. Uh, yo, no way. I died the white Russian. I bet. That's fake in a call you want to call. Yo, niggas, unbelievable. You want to be great? Yeah, niggas don't want to run out to the court ever. Bro, I'm about to use this leaf. This nigga got a real leaf. This is a this is a plant based leaf. <laughs> it's organic. Greeny leaf. It's it, organic. It, 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 it's born organic. Fresh off the the root. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Football should definitely be banned for kids, I feel like, under the age of like 10. Is that OD? I think that's OD. That's a random thought, just Pop Warner would be blown. You said Pop Warner? Pop Warner would be specifically older kids. True, and football kind of good for, you know, kids and everything that's trying to start out and everything. My mom's behind the camera trying to. I don't even know. Oh, you taping? Yes, I'm taping. <gasps> oh, I'm so no. They can't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's I'm okay. sorry. I didn't know. Now you all right? You okay? It's cool. Uh, so if you hear the microwave, that my how much time on the microwave? Um, uh, sixty seconds. Sixty seconds. Hey, we. <laughs> it's low key more, but it's all right. Now you're good. You're good. Come on. <laughs> That's uh. What's for dinner? Curry goat. Curry go. If y'all know, we kind of Jamaican. Well, we all Jamaican. <laughs> both, both got it. Uh, my, how much lingo you know? Like, how much Jamaican lingo? Patois? Patois? Yeah. I'm not in your interview, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> I love my brother so much, y'all. Uh, so, y'all know. Lord. Yo, I wanted to talk about this um, video shoot that I had. And like everything was going on. This is why I don't like to um, shoot where there's a ton of people at a location, especially when it comes to like regular family and stuff. Not even people that's like friends of the person that's shooting the video. So boom, check this. So it was like a baby shower or something, right? And like, you know, it's mad kids, young kids. And when you've got all your equipment and stuff like that, and you don't want people like rolling your, like rolling around in your stuff and nothing like that, especially kids. So like, it was mad stuff going on. So like, you know how they pop the confetti to see like who the baby and all that. So we like about to record or whatever. 
the lady is like trying to figure out how it work. And I just so happen to be like right next to it, like ear. So I just heard a bit pop. And I'm like, yo. They shoot me. <laughs> 100% what I, and I'm like, oh. but keep in mind my earring and all that because I don't know if you ever heard like one of them like cannon things for like the birth bomb things, whatever. Birth bomb is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> birthday confetti. No, but not birthday. Gender reveal confetti. So, same thing. Same thing. Blue confetti popper. You see how I gotta be so Pink specific on things? It's, it's horrible. So, um,. Yeah, so what else happened? So boom, they decided to pop a bottle, right? Champagne bottle, right? <laughs> so he was like, yo, you wanna pop in the van? But keep in mind, it's dark, so we can't shoot outside because I didn't have like outdoor lights at the time, right? So boom, um, he's shaking the bottle, whatever. He's like, yo, where are we gonna pop it at? We can't. He said, <laughs> he said, I'm gonna get the mop bucket. From <laughs> yo, keep in mind, it's like 50 plus people here, family, kids running around. He's like, yeah, we're gonna pop the bottle. <laughs> And we're gonna keep the champagne with the mop <laughs> And I'm like, yo, bro, like, who, who does that? Like, who would ever? So, you know, um, that was that. Plus, people just, when it's things like that, you got also people that got like a thousand things they want to input into the idea. Like, if you had that yet, or like, you got like friends and stuff of like the rapper that's like, yo, bro, you should do that. Like, yeah. Like that, bro? Oh, yeah. That's what we're gonna have to do. Because niggas don't wanna go to the fucking car. I ain't wanna say it on cam. Nah, nigga, we still not gonna say it on okay. cam. Okay. We right. still wanna leave that in because we real niggas at the end of the day. <laughs> y'all gotta know we was talking shit behind y'all back. But nah, for real. I fuck with y'all. Like, real shit. Like, the niggas that be um voting on my poll. Shout out to y'all. Real ones. Yo, bro. We be talking about, we be talking about Sprite. Yo, first off, Sprite, dirt. Yeah, that's just from McDonald's, though. Nah, I don't like McDonald's Sprite. That, like, I like every other Sprite besides that. Nah, that's crazy. The McDonald's Sprite is grab in a can. Yeah, bro. That should be sharp. <laughs> bro, you like that with a rose blunt? That shit got a crisp. Hey, you, you, you might OD. <laughs> What? Oh, okay. they off of carbonation, carbonate. Off of Sprite with roast blood? It's carbonation, right? I think so. Carbon monoxide. Nah, carbon <laughs> monoxide? Nah, I'm like, it's not that. Nah, it's mad like carbon shits. Well, yeah, you it know. It might be carbon fiber. Carbon fiber? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, um. Yo, I was driving the other day, right? It was like late. Niggas is zooming, zooming through the lanes and everything, bro. That niggas that be street racing on the daily. Tell me that's not OD. Nah, it is. And it's like you going to work. <laughs> Three in the morning. I see if you late, like okay, cool. But you by yourself just whizzing through traffic. And it's always somebody that needs on auto. Break your heart as fuck. It's always the needs on auto. Nah, it's any nigga with a spoiler. Or a kid. It's any nigga with a kid. <laughs> yeah, they get on. <laughs> niggas, with, niggas with spoilers, those niggas be like, nah, I got this for a reason. <laughs> they said aerodynamic. <laughs> you know what's crazy too? The nigga. <laughs> whenever I see like the videos on like, YouTube and niggas crashing, because, yeah, let me just be hilarious. There's always a nigga that's driving like, yeah, you just gotta know your path. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no nigga know his path better than a nigga that's, that's racing in the car. Yeah, I can't nigga, talk about nobody. Nigga, I can't talk about nobody. Bro, there ain't niggas that don't do that. They be like, no, I'm talking about, I can't talk about somebody else, bro. Yeah, bro, like. But imagine niggas racing on like Arnett and shit. Like, make it like a strip. That fake would be fire. That would be fire. That fake would be fire. Especially if you can block it off. But you can't. Yo, bro, what? Nah, they, they don't endorse do drag racing in the city. Street racing is illegal, period. Period? Yeah. Okay. Because we do have well, what a, big, if it's we got a big, like, car thing in Rochester. Like, cars is big. Yeah, yeah it was like an organized event? You could organize events in, like, parking lots or. But you can't organize them. Private them. properties. But they do, they do, um, block parties all the time. And they block up down the whole fucking block. Not that much of a block, but... 
Yeah, we don't talk about that off camera. More events, more players coming. <laughs> Yo. Nah, I'm not even gonna talk about it because Yo. I don't want it. no genius or nothing. Not gonna want anything, bro, because that shit. Um, nah, I was about to uh, talk shit. Yo, I'm gonna recommend a book for y'all. All my young hustlers out there, all entrepreneurs, any people that's trying to, you know, just make it out in life better. Read this book called, it's by 50 Cent. Matter of fact, it wasn't even by 50. It was by Curtis Jackson. That's, that's how, that's how, that's how good this book was. Called that nigga Curtis Jackson by his name. On the, I think he put his name as like 50 Cent too on the book, which is just crazy to me. But, um... Oh, it's called. <laughs> what do you want to talk about the damn title of the book? Damn, what's that shit? Called? Oh, it's called Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter, or Hustle Smarter, Hustle Harder. Something like that. But it's Hustle Smarter for sure. Um, yo, that nigga was giving out game, bro. This nigga is giving out all types of game. This nigga is tell you about how he organized deals, how to, how to really. Um, not not mess up and like cause this is what he was good at. He was real good at understanding like it was a team sport with all this shit. Like y'all understand business, bro, is a team sport, bro. Like we was just talking about earlier, like yo, you might get the deal, you might not, your man can get the deal, he might not. Niggas everybody gotta shoot. Cause when somebody score, we all get put on. Like and I, I definitely think that's valid, for sure. I, I definitely think if you could get into team management, learn that. And um, cause I, I hear all the time people talk about like, yo, bro, I be trying to start stuff with people, but nobody ever serious. Um, nobody be ever serious, and like I don't want to get people motivated. And I be like, yo, bro, you gotta, you gotta organize things the right way. You gotta have checks and balances. It's a lot that go into this stuff. Music, entertainment, business series, like, on the media side, on the business side, everything. Oh, that's, that, okay, yeah. Blessings all the way around, I'm telling you. That's light. That's calm. Let me read over something. Don't say, take out the... All right. Uh... Oh, so I'm gonna give out some game. So I be seeing kids be like they freshman, sophomore year. You know, they be bored. They wanna be led, they wanna be the man on campus and all stuff, and they thinking, you know what? I wanna do house parties. I see you make some money. And you. Yeah. Huh? You. Nah, but I'm saying there, there's niggas, I know niggas that wanted to do the same shit, but they just never got started. So I'm gonna give out game. Yo. If you are planning to throw your event in a B and B, toss that shit right out the window right now, cause bro, start out with your homie house, whatever, cause bro, B and B work we had to do, <laughs> bro, y'all would not understand, cause like yo, insurance, yo, I got sued, I didn't get sued, but they tried like they tried to like ask for money for through Airbnb, but they was asking for like two thousand. Cause they thought I scratched their floors for the event. But keep in mind, I didn't even have the event. Cause guess what? Nobody showed up to the event. So, remember the party, the uh, the shit in Buffalo with the jacuzzi and all that. People did show up. But it, we didn't move nothing. No, we did move stuff. But we um, what happened? I don't know. But we didn't scratch the floors. Like the way they was jacking it, like people was whatever. But it wasn't that. It wasn't that many people that that much shit was going on. <laughs> Nigga, we live in the past now. Uh. So yeah, so that's what you gotta do. Um, you gotta get to a point where if you do one, two house parties, you get a location, garage, whatever the case, church, I, do what you gotta do. Um, you wanna make sure your next step is uh, trying to incorporate uh, other things just than like uh, at the door, like purchase. So like a lot of people would think like, oh, I'm just gonna do tickets or I'm just gonna do um, at the door. At the door is like five dollars, ten dollars, girls half off, whatever, free before twelve. That's like the beginning stage. What you do to get your name out there, whatever. You, I did personally. I did free drinks. 
And again, I do not endorse underage drinking. Try to throw your events 21 plus. But it's college, I understand. Y'all don't care about nothing. Y'all chasing the bag. Uh, liquor does make good money. That's your first step. Usually, usually you do that when you're doing that at the door. If not, that's usually like your second party that you're doing. You usually incorporate liquor, drinks, or whatever. But you want to get a venue. Venues are good because you get legal protection. And if you like getting like B&Bs and shit like that, you're probably spending about the same type of money regardless. So, yo, talk to these venue dudes. Get creative. Like, if you don't got the bread, the revenue, whatever, you got to work out deals. You might have to say, uh, yo, uh, I'm going to give you 500. Um, you going to take 45% at the door. Uh, I'm going to give you 25% of liquor, too. Boom. Niggas might rock with that. Um... Because this is the thing, you want to be legally protected, you want to get insurance, you want to get uh, liquor, liability, all that. All these promoters, they're not going to tell you that. They're going to say, yo, boom, you don't need all that. They're not going to check, worst case scenario, no way. Yo, bro, stay protected, bro, legally, bro. Get contracts with these venues because these niggas do phony stuff all the time and like... You don't want to end up in court <coughs> or arrested, but that, that's how you level up. And then after, that, <coughs> after that, you get a um a venue that allows maybe a club too. They allow sections. Sections make good money. You do a party or two like that, whatever. Sections now you incorporate bottle girls. See like a couple pretty girls on campus. Boom, yo, you might. Doing bottles, ah uh, ah. Uh. It's typically like y'all just bring out the bottles, ice, all that shit, um, chasing and shit like that. But once you're in the venue, you gotta be IDing people, like mandatory. I'm sorry, like that's you. You're gonna have to try to start getting into that. You have to start playing by the rules, all that stuff. If you want to start leveling up to concerts and all that stuff, because everything besides that after that, don't get stuck on one venue. Start experimenting with different venues. Of course, keep location in mind, cause the closer the better. I swear to God. Good way to calculate how much you want to be spending on time is based on, I mean, like, on distance is that Uber fee. Use Uber as your backup because that's how everybody get there and back. Keep in mind, if it's 25 there, it's probably going to be 90 back. reason why I say 90 because everybody going to be leaving within, like, the same two-hour um, price line. So, be like, yo, of course, people going to carpool, all that good stuff, ah, uh, ah, uh, but you, know, you want to make sure, like, you really... That makes sense that you, you really want to... That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, use Uber um, to get that distance, get a good price to say, ah, right, this is how much people are going to be spending. College kids, they naturally don't got money, so what you want to do is, like, I try to stay in the 20 to 45 range. 45 if you got, like, somebody special there. Yo, spend your money on models, bro. Don't spend your money on these... um. The rappers. The reason why I say this right now, cause bro, rappers right now, some of them are hard. Most of them are hard, but there are a couple small ones that are popping in a certain town, certain city. But let's say if we're just talking about your college right now, you might think they high, and you gotta see like what your campus is listening to. But you don't wanna be the type of dude be like, yo, y'all want Favi, y'all want uh, Chance the rapper, y'all want this, y'all want that. Like, don't ask people if you can't guarantee it. So unless you got that connect already and everything. That's when you ask people, yo, do y'all really want to do it? That's like, yo, I got a number, boom, whatever, manager, talk, figure all that stuff out. Um, that's game on that. Let me know if y'all care about event stuff, because, like, I can tell y'all about how to email venues. I can tell y'all about um, literally anything coming to events. I feel like I know that shit like the back of my hand. Um, I'm real confident with that shit, too. Yo, like, what's some weird ways to make money off of that? You know what I thought is fire? So you ever seen like hype girls? And what I mean by that, girls like go around and they got like, um, you ever seen them syringe shots? Mm -hmm. Go around $5 syringe shots. Okay. That's easy to make money. I think that's fire, that's cool. What's up? What the fuck are we getting the game out today? Photos with the models. Photos with the models. That is surprisingly makes money too, cause mm -hmm. 
You gotta keep in mind, it's like that Las Vegas effect. You ever see? That's why you wanna like make sure your parties is like themed and shit too. Theme parties are good. So put some money into the decorations once you get to that. Yo, bro, also these performances, arts and shit. Because I tell you this right now, a lot of these promoters, bro, they boring, they just book out the arts, ain't no entertainment in between. Yo, bro, y'all niggas need to start um, incorporating entertainment throughout these damn events. So that's what niggas got to start doing. Yo, bro, all of these little, uh, not even art dancers. So what I mean by like art dancers, like people that got like the ropes and shit like that, that con, that's fire. Like, I, oh, yeah. like that's some shit to look at while you. Waiting for somebody to perform? Yeah. Uh, I will give some sauce out about the female events, but that's my lane I'm trying to go to, so I don't know. You know, who knows? I might. Let me know if y'all need that. Uh, how's. What's your opinion on friendly competition? You think that's good? You think it's bad? Yeah, what you, mean? you think everybody should just be focused on themselves, or you think everybody should naturally compete? Um, I don't think. I don't really look at nobody like competition. The way the way I'm looking at it, I look at it in a way like, okay, if we kind of all are like not competing for like something specific. The only person you should be competing with is yourself. No, no, no. The reason why I say this because I noticed this with wrestling too. So. When you train by yourself and everything, yeah, you push yourself hard, whatever. You might push yourself past a certain moment. But when you wrestling somebody that's ten times better than you, and, like, you can't, like, stop or control how how good they are, I feel like you get better long-term like that. So, like, I, I kind of think of, I if I'm still, like, not competing, because, like, I don't mean that in, like, a dickhead sense, like, okay, Start throwing events on the same day other niggas are throwing events and shit like that. That's cornball shit. And that's only if, like, y'all niggas is like, ah, right, you. That's what niggas is fronting. Like, <laughs> that's the shit. That's what you do that. But, um, you know. You know how that shit go. But, yeah. So, yeah, that's how you level up. Oh, no, that's kind of what <laughs> we talking about. Um, uh, friendly competition but yeah that's how I feel in a competition like it should never be in like an ill form it's like it should be a way to be like okay you did this okay I know for a fact we could get there like I know I gotta step my shit up because I, I don't know what it is it's like you see your friends make moves and shit it, it, it light a fire it, underneath me it's like yo that could be me too. Uh, what's next? Yo, I wanted to talk about oh credit. Yo, I'm a big, I'm a big nigga on like like finances. Like I'm big on that. Like I think everybody should like you know monitor their credit, make sure you know you you big into your budget and all that shit. And, like, whatever, like, income level you at, it don't matter. Like, all that, everything should be budgeted. Everything should be working with credit. I feel like, like, credit, bro, I feel like that shit, take this out. Because, like, the different rates they charge, like, on a mortgage, too, it's crazy. Different rates they charge off of a car. So, like, you remember how we was able to get that good deal with my car? Mm-hmm. Would not be having that type of conversation if my shit was dirt credit. Right. So it's like, yo. You got to treat, like, credit like leverage. So leverage in the sense that, okay, you can get better um, choices once you have good credit. And credit is like, yo. This is how I set up my shit. Whatever you pay monthly, if you pay Netflix every month, you know you're not missing that. That goes on your credit card. Cause literally, you're just gonna send that bread to that that credit card account. That bread into that credit card account. Boom. You're not gonna pay nothing extra. You're not gonna pay no interest. I, I personally don't even like look into like interest rates, cause like 
it don't apply to me because, yo, pay everything in full. Like, that minimum balance stuff, do not do that, bro. Because you're going to rack up credit card debt and that shit builds. And, like, even when you make on-time payments, it don't even go to, like, your, um, like, once you have, like, credit debt build up, it don't even go towards, like, the interest. It goes towards, like, your actual payments that you still owe. So it's like, yo. But I be trying to, uh, Poor boy niggas on the credit. Uh, I mean, want niggas to utilize everything. Stocks, investing. And like, cause everybody think investing is just stocks. Investing is just however more you way to get bread. Like, invest into your own business. You should invest into your health even. Cause you know, that's life. Can't ever get that shit up. Looking to get spiritual and shit. Um, Kirk Franklin. Hallelujah! No, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, let's go there. Bow. Okay, what's doing good? Not doing good. Oh, so, last thing on the business. Yeah. Damn, how long do you think we've been recording for? Probably like 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah, that was thinking that too. All right, so boom, we're going to end on this. We're going to say, oh my God. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, why is it important to do good business long term? What I mean, do good business, do everything that's hard to do in business that, you know, not fronting, not acting like you got something that you really don't, what else? Everything on time. Don't, especially when it comes to money. Have have it early if anything. Don't ever have it late. You don't you don't ever want to owe people money. That's like the last thing you ever want to do. Not because it's whatever. It's just a bad reputation to have. And your reputation in business is everything. You have to care about your reputation. People don't understand how far that go. So like literally, if you build a strong network. People that rock with you, that will put you on other opportunity. You just doing good business with every person, good reviews, everyone. Whatever you get that with one person that do you wrong, whatever too. It's gonna be like you want people that support you, get you back up, whatever. You gonna be Gucci. So I say it's good for your um network. It build trust, cause like yo, sometimes you're in a pinch. Maybe you need a lot of money quick. Some people are willing to put that time and effort into you. Some other niggas is not. Because they, they like, eh, you a little shaky last deal. And it's not always like, oh, you only good as your last thing. Like, nah, it was like, nah, he been good for years. I know for a fact he's good. He only calls me when it's good. And you got a reputation like that? Every time a... Uh, 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 Opportunity come, a move come, you're going to be able to make that no problem. No hesitation. And are you smart with your plan? Set. it. But yeah. Yo, Shamar. Edit that part out if you if you heard that. <laughs> Cause that was crazy. We're gonna talk after that. Uh, <laughs> oh. Uh, but this has been your boy Big M E K J, and it's been another episode of the M E K podcast. <laughs> uh, but appreciate y'all. Check tuning in again. You know we're gonna post the clips or whatever. But if you made it this far, I'm really rock with you. Like we we. What's like a secret word they got to type in the comments to know they made it this far? They can take him to one. Put, uh... Nah, I ain't gonna do that. Uh... Damn. What's some shit that we... The niggas like, hurry the fuck up. I, know <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, even know. Put, 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 put... Damn, we don't got no fucking... Put a green heart. Put a green heart in the comments. Appreciate that. We out. Bye.